with the wealthy. Today, we are going to do a science experiment. How exciting, right? The science experiment is all about the properties of matter. The objective of this experiment, first of all, is to identify the properties of solid, liquid, and gas. The second one is to, I, to classify the materials according to the ability to absorb water, float, and sink. The materials we are going to use is four clear glasses of water, a coin, a ping pong ball, paper clip, and ketchup. Let's label the glasses. Now, our four clear glasses of water is labeled and ready for the experiment. Now, we'll put some water, not too much. First, we need to drop this five pesos coin in cup A. It sank. Coin is solid and has more density than the density of water. The coin is malleability. Okay, next we have to put this ping pong ball at cup B. It floated! The ping pong ball is solid as well, but it's floating because it has less or equal to the density of the water. Put some water in cup C. Okay, that's enough. Need a bit more. Okay. Now second is cup D. There we go. So now we have to put a pin in cup C. The paper clip is solid and it sank just like the coin because it has more density than the density of water. Paper clip's property is flexibility because it has the ability to be bent and rolled without breaking easily. And then we need to put ketchup in cup D. Look at the ketchup. It is sinking like the pin. Ketchup is liquid and it doesn't sink easily because it's viscosity. Let's answer the guide questions. First question is, which among the materials floated. Was it the ping pong ball, the coin, or the paper clip? The ping pong ball because the ping pong ball has less density than the water density. Also, the ping pong ball is hollow and has pretty much no density. Which of them sank? The paper clip and the coin because the paper clip and the coin has more density than the density of the water. Remember kids, if any object has less density or equal to the density of the water, it will float. But if the object has more density than the density of the water, it will sink. Question number three is, what can you say about viscosity, about your observation, about ketchup, and 
water. What I can say is that when it goes down, it doesn't go into pieces like it, when it goes down, it doesn't stick together. You, it goes part by part, see? Let's put it here. Whoa, that's so cool. It's like noodles. Oh my God. It's like floating, but then it's sinking as well. See, at the beginning, it's floating, but then at the end, it's like sinking. See? Whoa. Oh, that ketchup is just floating. Okay. Whoa. See that? Why do you think is ketchup hard to pour? Ketchup slowly pours because it is a highly viscous liquid. A liquid that is highly viscous has particles that are closer to each other than those of other liquids. As you can see, there's, you can see it that there's, that they're not sticking. It looks so cute. If you look at the top, it looks like a little fish pod, and every fish is sleeping. So cute. But why is this one floating? Wait, let me put it down. Go and sleep, buddy. Okay, no. well he's asleep now. No. Yeah. Question number four. What did you feel about the about the activity? Was it hard or was it easy? For me, I think it's easy. But why is it easy? It's easy for me because I get to observe and have fun while doing this experiment. Like the ping pong ball and the paper clips. I get to observe them about how they sink and how they float and I get to learn new things. Guys, I have a trick to show you. As you can see, the paper clip is floating. Why, you may ask? The paper clip will float due to surface tension. Surface tension is the attraction of light particles to one another on a surface. Hope that you also learn new things like me about viscosity, water of sinking and floating. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.